Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the- You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory and let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle, or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. Get me some food, man. I need it. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. I wouldn't do that. Get in the car, useless. Yes. Girls and other evildoers and expose them for what they really are. Don't waste your money on unnecessary and corrupting material possessions. Give it to me. There's only one thing that will save you. A highly fortified structure in the shape of the most powerful thing on the planet. Me. Degenerates will ruin this great city. In my wonderful book, I tell of the impending disaster about to befall this planet. Nuclear holocaust, plagues of flying rodents, the seas rising up and turning yellow. It is coming. It is written by me, but you can save yourself. Contribute to the Pastor Richard Salvation Statue Fund. Pick up your telephone. Call now. 1-866-9-SAVE-ME. 
Hi, and welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're listening to KChat, by City's only commercial talk station, the place where the stars shine in conversation with you and me. I'm Amy Schechenhausen. My next guest is a rising star in the world of North mythology. He's appeared in several best-selling infomercials and travels the globe speaking at corporate training camps. His books and audio cassettes are sold up. Protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. You guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Carries, but unleash yourself. It's in my Thor's Norse Power program. Okay. I'm a little confused. Well, I'm a lot confused. I was taught in school that Vikings were bloodthirsty and violent. An elder once told me, you must unlearn what you have learned. Of course, then he died of the green plague. There are some Vikings that are... Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back, and after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer hoppers. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs>
they've got a helicopter. Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Kern. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. what this means we could all be so and the timer must have got screwed that place was wired to go up like a firework factory and somebody tipped off the cops but everything what's the problem apart. fellas mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall but he screwed the fuses and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it we gotta get our stuff and get out of here relax both of you let me think for a second tommy versetti just doesn't cut and run the cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine tooth comb right but that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a lockup, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. You can't run, officer.
Easy, brother. No cop drives this bad. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge. Nice badge. Real smooth. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here! Dicks! You're all dicks! My compliments on a job well done, Mr. Hill. My client was very pleased. I have more work for you with a more hands-on approach. Your next job is taped under the phone. Mr. Livingston, he's a bad doll! Bad doll! Not like my other dolls! My mom's great, though. Thanks for asking. Okay, wow, you're psychotic and dosed up to the eyeballs on tranquilizers. If it's psychotic to be happy, then I guess I am. <laughs> A stalagmite grows an inch every thousand years. That's slow and painful. That's how I want to live my life. If you can't see the misery, stay out of the kitchen. You may have noticed this Ankh tattoo. It's Egyptian and represents the breath of life given in the afterworld. It's my key to eternal life after death.
Hey, why don't you carry your keys in your pocket like everyone else? Because only that... Oh, my God! Flash comes with you to the afterlife. <laughs> I bet my ex-wife will be there waiting for me in the afterlife. The bitch is crazy. Hey, can you put a hex on my ex-wife? Like some kind of spooky voodoo or something? I do dabble in the dark arts and magic. I ain't talking about magic like pulling a rabbit out of your ass or pulling... Help me! I'm talking voodoo. You know, dance around with a chicken voodoo. That bitch was a grass. Why does everyone assume that just because we're goths, we're weird? I don't know. The hood, cane, black fingernail polish may have something to do with it. When is the last time you've seen the sun? It's been over 18. Oh, my God. I only leave the house if it's raining or if I need milk. Exactly. Listen, I was just like you at one time, except I didn't wear makeup. That would get you a firm beating where I grew up. I'm happy to give you a sample of my course, Learn, Start Doing. I promise you'll run out and buy some colored clothing and listen to some music other than people groaning on and on. Oh, my God! In Manchester. Life is what you make it. Look at me. I got a condo, a hot tub, a lot of girls. Listen, you're really bringing me down, which is hard to do. I've been to the other side many times. Sometimes I barely come back. It's all about astral projection. Like right now, I'm projecting myself into the women's bathroom at the fairground. Hey, that's somebody help me! Business again. Oh, hey, look, I've had enough of this love fest. You, you're a motivational gunman. And you, you are a maniacally depressed loony with anemia. You guys should hate each other. Did you say love fest? Those guys are so super. Listen, I just wrote another poem. If I had a flower for every time I think of you, I'd walk forever in a garden. Oh my God. Idiots are concerned. I am a man. But I tell you, sweetheart, I've been over to the other side. Man or a man is beautiful, but these idiots, man, they've no been there. Okay, right. This last album wasn't your best selling, was it? I don't even think it charted in the UK. What is that, sir? Piece of paper. Oh my god! I set it on fire. I ain't no Ronald Reagan a rock, baby. She's really getting on my... Oh, I'm supposed to go to commercial. I'll be right back. Howdy. Welcome to Farewell Ranch. They say the golden years are the best years of your life, but for many seniors, they just stink up the house and make the grandkids feel uncomfortable with unbound affection. Hi, I'm Amy, and you're on 
Costume stuff clear to the working man. Because after you spend the day working in a steel mill, you want to wear tight leather clothes and play air guitar. That's what we're about. The recent album was a musical trip through hell, and I think it shows. Oh yeah, it does. I mean, I saw Satan. He didn't like what he saw in me. He saw whatever. Also a genius. Ask man, I can find treasure in the dark. Yeah, that's the thing that typifies me as an artist. Heart and soul. Head and trousers. Everything. That's what you get at one of my shows. Jez Torrent and Love Fist will really show you, you know. We take the soul into darkness. Bring your lighters. You know, I invented that. I'm about out of wankers ripping off my vibe. I wore women's clothing first. Why? Because it tells you about light and darkness. Like the moon. But seriously. Show a favor, take it easy. My people spoke to your people about this. And seriously, I appreciate the offer. And look, I would shag you, but you have to understand it's too soon. Because Shari left you, right? They, they, my people spoke about this to your people. I said, do not mention Shari. It's like sticking needles in my soul. Voodoo. Who are you? Are you my personal devil? If you could do this to me, the pain is too much. I have hair in my face to hide my soul. Shari had to go because she wanted to be a marine. We couldn't be together. Seriously, don't go there. <laughs> this is so sad. Jack tissue out there. Oh, yeah. oh, Jazz. I'm so sorry. Seriously, love. If you listen to the song Dragon Eyes, it says everything that needs to be said about her. You can't help me. It's raw. Like a chicken's head, you know? The pain grips you and makes you. Think about everything. It's the longest night of all. December of the soul. Jazz, this has been the best interview of my life. Thanks so much for coming on. For all you love this fans out there, it's time for a contest. Ladies and gents, you're listening to the Jazz Total Kitchen being interviewed by. It's Amy? Oh god, you forgot my name? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Citizens of Vice City. Now you've got the opportunity to win a part of my signature. I think I only give away parts of myself to people who have bought all our records. So you've got to answer this. On which album did Beast Fist appear? Was it A, Dogs on Heat, B, Fat Chicks All Day All Night, or C, Devil's Own Band? For the chance to win tons of Love Fist prizes, just answer the question. All you need to do is write the answer on a postcard and send it into the station. Jazz, before you go, will you please play us a song acoustic? Piss off! Acoustic songs are for sissies. Babe, seriously, do not cramp my style. Look, I've got to save up the love for the big... City as part of their world tour. Bring your lighters and a spare pair of panties. I know I will. We'll be right back on KChat after these messages. Thanks. What makes a real American? A cowboy hat, enjoying a fine T-bone steak, going to a baseball game, shooting a gun. Maybe it's the freedom to go into a poor country and tell them how to do things. Heh, those
cheaper, more efficient Maibatsu. Without gross symbols of excess, what will Americans have to look up to? Our great industries are threatened. Cars, pornography, armaments, and they need your help. So the next time you talk to that tribe. bigger fish, Mr. Steele. There's a rifle in the foliage to your right. Watch the woman standing on the balcony above the check in desk. She will walk through the crowd and ask someone the time. You must kill that person, retrieve the case, and take it to the location taped under the phone. ceiling and more girls than you can imagine. And every time I step outside the door, I can choose which car to drive. If I choose to drive, I have five chauffeurs. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Sweep it under the carpet. That's my motto. <laughs> if I can't see it, it's not there. <laughs> Look, I hate to burst your bubble here, but I know you live in a very small apartment overlooking the gas works. You ain't a big shot. You ain't even a medium shot. You're an asshole, a creepy jailbird who doesn't know the first... I, I have a message. I can save lives. I'm a savior, my friend. I have a gift for communication, and this is how I get treated. I get insulted, I get paired with a pair of retards, a guy who's afraid of the sun, and a girl dosed up to the eyeballs on antidepressants. Sweetheart, I can get you something much better. These pills are very strong today. Maybe I took too much accidentally. Oh, well. <laughs> this chick is out of her mind. I thought I was going to get to help people on the radio, to demonstrate my program, to help you, Chavez. Those people on the phone said you were a desperate, lonely man on the edge. Leave. Leave right now. Get out of my studio. Go get your own radio show. Go save some other people. Hey, I'm not leaving till I have the opportunity to save people and sell some tapes. You could call right now and send in the money order. Soon you could have a luxury condo and a waterbed and a suit made in Singapore based on the latest Italian style. Enough! Enough now! Shut up! Hey, vampire boy, I'll give you 20 bucks if you can put a hex on Chavez. Oh. Papi! Papi! Un gran problema. Roberto, my son, what happened? Un gran problema. They messed with me. They messed with me for the last time. What is your problem? Who take them out? Only we need some backup. I lost a few hermanos already out there. Amigo, you drive good. For a woman, right? This is no time for joking. Come on, drive for me again. Amigo, take my boys over there. But they mess with me, they mess with the biggest boy in town.
We're gonna fight like men. When you see my face, keep walking. Sniper on the roof! They fight like girls! Take cover! We need reinforcements from the cafe! Oye, espabilate. Take out that cowardly sniper! Oye, que te mato! This guy is trying to run me out! Like men with huge cojones! You're a disgrace! Tommy, we have hey, proved our mental bravery! Let us steal the van from a dog and make a good escape! This is not what I wanted! <laughs> Alberto, go to cafe, Papa. senor. Don't turn the snake in the slot. You're two-faced, Tommy. You're either two-faced or you're a whip, baby boy. They're laughing at me. Easy, easy. What's your problem? They're laughing at me, Tommy, at me, Umberto Rubino. They're doing whatever they like. Nobody does whatever they like, Umberto. They do what you let them do. What? You want somebody taken care of? I can handle it, but it's going to cost you. I know we're brothers and all, but this is business. Tommy, you are real man. Businessmen, a gentleman. They have a load of product coming in offshore. Really good stuff. We take it and we finish them. You take it and I look after you. Like my brother. Like my son. I think I prefer the cash to being bounced on your knee, amigo. Hey, Rico. 
Nice boat. You ready? See, si, Tommy. Now you be a good shot today. My boat, she no good. Full of holes, okay? Fantoso gente! Mucha música después de los commercials. Hi, I'm BJ Smith. In my long and illustrious three-year career at the top of pro football, I, I worked some serious ass and got paid for it. They didn't call me death in tight pants for nothing. When you have such Just a reward... And beating the hell out of your fellow... in my dear and rest your soul you must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about tell me things about you you know when he visits and about the others who wait for you now we all dead from long time but you i wouldn't want to be in your shoes <laughs> i got a message to come here can you hear them them calling your name boy must want you pretty bad don't you think now you do all Auntie Pulea Turner, maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the lama and the stink eye. Mm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? I, I, I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tommy. The nasty proud foo-foos. Mm. Been making my boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Poole. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Don't move a muscle, chump!
Sorry, I, I must have the wrong address. Well, you might as well come in and rest your souls and have some tea. Do you have something there for me, Tommy? Yeah. This place feels familiar to me. Uh, it's, a, it's a smell from childhood, a deja vu. Now, Tommy, I'm going to whisper a little errand for you. Hear me well, I. You look like someone I... I... Them have fast boats they use to cross the seas with drugs. It is their livelihood. Me nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. Blow the boats to coffin wood. Thanks for the tea.
for somebody around here. You're looking hungry, Tommy. Do I know you? Hush now. One more thing and I can let you go, Tommy. My boys gone war with them boys, but no guns. While they fight in the streets, you will take this rifle. No one sees you, no one hears you. Now, Tommy, you do this for me and you no longer tie to my apron strings. Okay, Auntie. I'm gonna do. I'm going to make love like a man. You know that, Chica? Something like this. Hey, baby! Oh I wouldn't God. touch I you with a ten foot pole. Humberto oh Rovina, he likes the lady, so not funny. some goat in a skirt. Tommy, Tommy, I love you. I love you. Let's go. <laughs> go where? Can I get a cup of coffee first? No time for coffee. Besides, I just had one. Oh. Tommy, how do you take out a snake? You bite him in the ass. <laughs> you go and get us a little car. When you get it, come back and pick up my boy, Pepe. And take them out to such and such. Their processing plant. Whatever you say, Humberto. Hey, Tommy! Tommy! Use their solvent as an explosive. Boom! Bye-bye! Humberto. What about you? Uh, I'm going to stay behind and watch over that cafe with Papa. He not feeling so good, you know? The last thing I needed was this. Maybe the last thing I needed was an enema, but this way. comes close. Okay, let's go find our muchachos. <laughs> Pizzas here. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Hola, amigos. Oye, the solvent is around the back, amigo. Bueno, putas. Wait, vamos. 
Vamos, Indy. Follow my compadres. You lost it? Okay, in you go. Going to plant the bomb, cover me. Trying to kill me or something? Run! Tu juegas a Edres. We will eliminate all the Cuban players. 